Hello, and welcome to the 127th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Bruckert, where we're, we're going to be having another fantastic Trappist Ale. Now, as we talked about before, there are 11 Trappist breweries in the world. Um, two of them happen to be in the Netherlands. One of them is the beer that we're having today, which is the Zunder 8 Trappist Ale. The other one is the La Trappe. Uh, Trappist Ale, which both both breweries make good beers. Now, this is the smallest of the Trappist breweries in the world. So, it, they only make two beers. They make the Zunder 8, and in 2018, they started making the Zunder 10. Um, the original Zunder 8 was originally brewed in 2013. Uh, it became a Trappist uh, brewery. It, it was a farm. And they were having a hard time keep, you know, uh, financing, you know, because these are all um, run by monks and nuns. Um, so they were having a hard time, uh, you know, supporting the, the um, monastery. So they decided that they wanted to start uh, brewing beer. So they started brewing beer. They started working on it, coming up with the recipe and the yeast and the whole thing back in 2011. So it took them a couple of years to get up and running. And they opened this brew this Trappist Brewery in 2013. Now the beer uh, clocks in at, at eight or rate, rates at 87 out of 100, which makes it a very good beer. And I've seen kind of mixed reviews on it. Most of them appear to be better than that. So I'll be the judge, I, I'm gonna taste it. But it sounds from everything I've, I've done the research on this beer, and I've had it, it's been a while, but I've had it in the past, but we're gonna give it the official test today and kind of see where we feel, how I feel that this beer is. Um, the beer's at 8%, which is the uh, the eight beer. And believe it or not, the 10 is 10% 10 alcohol by volume. So um, very exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and let's smell it. Uh, you get, it's really a light brown for, it's considered a dark Be a Belgian strong ale, but it's pretty light for a, Belgian, dark Belgian strong ale. It's more like a reddish, uh, a deep uh, gold, like a darker gold kind of color than I would say a typical dark ale. So it's kind of unique if you can see that. Um, you do get a nice head, there, it was a nice head, it kind of settled down a little bit, but let's go ahead and check this out. Mmm, oh yeah. So right off the bat on this beer, which I kind of like on this, I get the scent of like uh, the dark fruit, maybe plums, which you'll, you'll typically get in a beer like this. But there is a sweetness to it, almost like a caramel. Plus you get the, the you can smell the the Belgian yeast. Um, and there's there's a sweetness to it. I'm, I'm assuming that's a combination of the fruit and the caramel, but it, it's definitely got a sweetness to the smell. And it almost, there's almost like a, a brown sugarish in there. And I'm sure that they use um, the uh, Belgian candy sugar in this. So that's probably what we're smelling. Mmm, this smells delicious. And I do smell a little bit of hops in there because from what my understanding on this beer is, um, at the end, it's gonna finish a little bit on the, like a crisp hoppiness. So that's kind of a unique uh, difference because a lot of the uh, Belgian beers will finish with a, a, you know, not the hoppy. So I was very interested to try this. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna get into this and let's check it out. Mmm, that is delicious. So. In contrast to a lot of other beers, this one starts off sweet and malty, and then it finishes crisp and I wouldn't say hoppy, but there is a hop, definitely a hop to it. Um, it's just not, you know, I don't think of it like an IPA or something like that. It's just got a, a hoppy crispness to it. Mm. But I definitely get that like caramel, uh, a lot of the flavors that you'd usually find in a, a Belgian strong ale 
for a short period of time up front, and then it goes to that crispness at the end. It's delicious beer. I, I, I do, I do indeed love it. Mmm. It's got a good carbonation. When you take a sip of it, you can feel the carbonation in your mouth. It's it's uh, quite a uh, quite delightful. And this is a bottle bottle conditioned ale. So this one uh, we've had this one. It's been uh, best of drink by um, October of 2021, uh, which means the beer is about four four years old because they say these beers uh, should be drank within five years. So this one's uh, four years old. So it's had time to age and mellow in the bottle, which I always recommend with a good Trappist Ale. I mean, um, not that they're gonna be bad when you first have them, but when they have time, especially a bottle conditioned ale has had time to sit and uh, get even better, um, I would always recommend it. So this one's probably about the perfect time to, to drink. Um, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more head on there to release some more of the flavors and smells. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. But like I said, this is the smallest of the Trappist breweries in the world. And it's it probably, I, I don't know, uh, I, I know Spencer is not that old, um, but it's one of the newer uh, of Trappist breweries, obviously, um, having only been founded in 2013 when it became, a, when they started producing beer. Um, I don't think they started exporting beer into the U.S., until like 2018. And I think that's also the same time that they came out with the uh, Zunder 10. So um, excellent beer, I highly recommend it. I would definitely give it a shot. It's a little bit different than your typical Trappist Ale, which is the beautiful thing about Trappist Ale is because all of them have their own little special niche. So you can't, you know, can't say one tastes just like the other one. Mmm. Mm. Spectacular. You know, the monks have been doing the uh, beer making for a long time and they really do uh, know what they're doing. Um, so make sure you check it out. And if you enjoy this and learn something about beer, make sure you tell your friends and make sure they tell their friends and they tell all their friends until everybody knows about how much fun we're having uh, drinking beer and talking about beer here on Beer Issues. If you want any cool gear like this great Beer Issues hat, Make sure you check out, check out shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.